It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 27th. But you know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. We use a couple decks we haven't used in a while. We're going to start right here. What do we got? What do we have for an upcoming energy? What do we have? Some sort of grounding reality check of some sort, I believe. One card, please. Oh, we got two. We got two. So, there's a bad habit. Somebody's got a very bad habit. Um, and they're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide it. Um, this kills, right? So smoking kills. It doesn't have to be cigarettes, but this is a bad habit. You think about the number 15. The number 15 is on the devil card, and this is 18 is on the moon card. So there there could be some addiction. Somebody is dealing with some addictions. Maybe it's an obsession. There's all is not as it seems. There's something below the surface that is, is uh, cooking up, okay? That is... Uh, there's something below the surface that needs to be dealt with, okay? Obviously, when you have an addiction, it's to uh, cope, right? You, to cope with something. Somebody is trying to uh, hide something, and I, I think it may be some sort of addiction. Um, yeah, somebody is hiding something. They are hiding something. So, because you can't see what's below the surface there, i got to get another stand. So that's what I'm doing. we got somebody here that needs to uh, look a little bit deeper. Okay? Somebody needs to look a little bit deeper. Somebody's doing something and they're hiding it. And it's, and it's destructive. Okay? It is destructive. Um... There's also, I mean, if you think about smoking, smoking is such a hard habit to break. It is a hard habit to break. So somebody is having a hard time breaking a habit. And they may be, you know, hiding it. They may be hiding uh, the difficulty. Okay, they're hiding it. They may be lying. They may be superficial. What you see is not what you get, to put it that way. And and you think about if you think about the devil, what you see is not what you get with both of these cards. Now, if the devil and the moon, the numbers I'm going by here, um, on the traditional tarot are both shadow. Okay, it's the it's, it is about the shadow. It's about you know what you see is not what you get. So the my main message is, you know, somebody is not seeing a situation clearly. It may feel good, or it may look good, or it might give you some sort of instant gratification, but below the surface or uh, down deep, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. So there, there's there's somebody that is is uh, it's toxic. It's unhealthy. Somebody is dealing with some some sort of unhealthy behavior, and they're hiding it. They're hiding it. They're hiding it very well, okay? I don't know if it's smoking um, or what it is, but that's just a, that's just an energy of the card. Give, this, is these, this is my intuition deck, okay? So you use your intuition when you, when you see the card. It feels to me like we have somebody here that is hiding an addiction. It's a very hard habit to break. You can't see what they're hiding, okay? So somebody has some addiction or they're obsessed Okay, they're obsessed with something. So let's get one of these. I guess that's the one, huh? You are not alone. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. 
So if this is somebody from the other side, there could be somebody from the other side that is around. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. That's a yes, okay. I'm starting chills down both of my arms. So I'm wondering if there is someone around you that has passed away and maybe they passed away from addictions, okay? Could be a, could be somebody that was an avid smoker, somebody that smoked a lot, you know? It could be some it could be a water sign. It could be somebody who loved the ocean, loved the water, loved to fish. Um it could be somebody that oh, now my ear is starting to ring. So somebody is close. And the chills are, are increasing. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, but there is somebody around. There is somebody around that had some sort of addictions. And maybe they're here. Oh my God. I can't even believe it. I'm down to my legs. It's like, I, I, I don't even know what is. It's crazy. So it's just like an out of body experience or something. I don't even know what is going on. Crazy. So there is somebody that is trying to guide you, okay? They're trying to guide you. They're trying to get you to realize. They're trying to... Re reality check. Reality check. Remember, I started it off with reality check. That's what it is. Reality check. It's time to come back down to reality. Come down to reality. You need to be real with yourself and acknowledge your addictions and acknowledge your unhealthy behaviors, your unhealthy patterns. You can't keep going in this direction. It's killing you. I thought I just heard something flip, but I guess the card didn't flip out, but I thought it did. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So somebody's being unrealistic. They need to reevaluate. They're being unreasonable. You need to think about what you're you are investing in. You need to think about what you are doing. reverse you may not survive the ten of swords reverse is you may not survive there there is there could be recovery problems problems with things are we are, are, we have a there's problems there could be a relapse okay there could be a relapse or somebody that's having a hard time recovering this could be a near-death experience somebody could and they could actually die Somebody is doing something that is very unhealthy that could kill them. And I'm not trying to scare you. There is somebody from the other side that is saying, stop, stop. something is getting worse and we may have somebody here that is beyond help or they they're not you're never beyond help but if you choose to continue going down this path you will die I'm sorry for telling you that and this reading may not be for you my readings are for people who need them and I am willing to bet there is somebody that needs to hear this message. I'm positive. We have somebody here that has some chronic health problems and it is getting worse. They are, they are burying their feelings, their emotions in addictions. And it's getting worse and worse and worse.
This is unrealistic. Ace of Wands reversed. Oh my God. That This is no energy, no drive, a loss of energy, a loss of drive, no, no vision, being weighed down, something not materializing, not growing, no fertility, a lack of... I mean, this is like no passion, no energy. It's depleting your energy. There's an energy depletion here. King of Pentacles, reverse. No stability, no security, loss of job, loss of income. Uh, losing that Midas touch. We have somebody here that may be doing things illegally to obtain money. Has nothing. Losing it. Losing it, totally losing uh, financial stability, doing things that they shouldn't be doing to gain money. Two of Wands reversed. Now the Two of Wands making a poor decision. That's reversed. There's a lack of planning here. being held back. We have somebody here that is holding themselves back. Their addictions are holding themselves back. We have somebody here that may present themselves to be wealthy. They may present themselves to be well off, but it's a lie because we definitely have a lie here. They're not, it's not true. Definitely making a poor decision with this two reverse. We have somebody here that is, uh, There's no growth, losing their ambition and drive in their energy. This person's energy is being depleted. Yeah, they might get an instant uh, up, but it's a right back down. Okay, this is a, the Ace of Wands in reverse is a thumbs down. Okay, it is definitely a thumbs down. So it's going down. Somebody is going down. They are. Ten of Swords, somebody is going down. We have this, and this person is egotistical. So this person has a big ego. Six, getting what they deserve. Somebody's going to get what they deserve. Five of swords reversed. Whew. Five of swords reversed is uh, mentally dysfunctional, volatile, arrests. Somebody could be, coming, be getting arrested. They haven't heeded a warning. Somebody's not heeding a warning they're not. And they're going to get what they deserve. Something could be taken away from them and given to somebody else. There could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. The Five of Swords reversed. There's there's uh, maybe a fight or there's, there's bloodshed or there's somebody, there's some sort of revenge or... Uh, Somebody may seek revenge on this person. I don't know if this is a drug dealer. Doesn't have to be. But this when you get the King of Pentacles in reverse, and it doesn't matter what sign it is. It could be any sign. This is a person that does things illegally to obtain money. Okay? To feed their addictions. Okay? So I feel like we have somebody here that has some addictions. And, and sometimes addictions are just things. Okay, to, to live up to society's standards. Okay, addictions come in many forms. Anyhow, somebody could end up getting hurt, put it that way, and not surviving with the Ten of Swords reversed. Whether this is an overdose or, you know, this could be, I mean, I hate to say it, the Five of Swords is a battle, a war, uh, you know, a shootout or something. I'm sorry. I am that reader that tells it like it is. But this could be a, a you know, you just heard what I said. I'm not going to repeat it. But I'm just saying it could be a murder. Oh, God, why you make me say this shit? Oh. I'm sorry. I don't like to give these kinds of messages. You know that I don't. doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Um, Five of Swords reversed is mourning as well. Mourning a loss. 
mourning, you know, so somebody um, may be in mourning. There could be, and this could be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. This is, um, the Six of Pentacles is about giving, give and take. It's about balance, but there's a lack of, of growth or a lack of excitement. Something is going downhill. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, reversed. Now the Five of Wands is chaos, right? There could definitely be a full scale scale battle coming up, but this could this bat or there could be the end of a conflict. There's definitely a controversy going on where there's a lot of people involved, and it feels like I don't know if this is a gang up or or something like that. Somebody could be coming with an with an offer. Okay, they could be coming, and this could, this could be even be peace talks. So it could be, maybe maybe you're being called to uh, not engage. You know, this is a game. The Five of Wands is a game. It's competition. It is. But in reverse, it could be worse. It could be a full-scale battle or it could be uh, the end of a competition. Exhausted and fed up. Now, the Knight of Cups is a welcome offer. It's an offer of love coming in, an offer of emotional support. But is it real? That's my question. Is it real? This, it, this Knight of Cups can be very secretive. There could be some secrets here. This person is very cunning by the looks of things. There's definitely been some sort of competition. This person has a cup of love, has love to offer. There's a bunch of competition. There's a big competition going on here. Four of Wands reverse. This It doesn't lead to commitment doesn't lead to stability. It doesn't lead to happiness. It doesn't lead to forever. Um, there's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of contentment. This party is over. This, there's, it, I feel like we have a false, somebody coming in with a false offer. It's funny because that's how I felt. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Um, it could be a trick. Somebody may be trying to trick somebody with with some sort of compassion or some sort of kindness and it's a trick it's a trick so be careful somebody may have some tricks up their sleeve um the four of wands reversed is uh it's about a relationship it's about a, it's about a commitment that is ending okay or a relationship that isn't on the same page and this is a relationship if this is a relationship somebody may be coming forward with something it isn't going to last they don't have intentions of it lasting i feel like they have some tricks up their sleeve i feel like we have somebody here that has some tricks up their sleeve they're not looking for anything long term Ooh, the Queen of Wands reversed. Now this person, the Queen of Wands in reversed is somebody that is melodramatic, unhealthy, controlling, a gossip, revengeful, manipulative, nasty, self-righteous, throws tantrums, is hysterical. This person acts in a hysterical manner. This could be, this is, this is somebody that, uh, gets upset gets very 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 upset i feel like there's a, the end because the four of wands reverse could be a breakup with somebody hmm. we could have somebody that is coming in to apologize okay somebody may be coming in to apologize for involving another woman Okay, we could have it just for this just came to me. This is another woman. They may have gotten into a false relationship, a false commitment with this woman. And now they want to stop playing games. So that may be the case. Perhaps this person was hiding their true feelings behind addictions. 
and you know now they're getting some sort of reality check or they've come to some sort of reality check they don't want to invest in this anymore um I feel like per and perhaps maybe you know with this five of swords there's been some sort of nasty fight nasty battle um they pushed somebody away they somebody has been pushed away now they now they want that person back I mean it feels like um we have somebody that has definitely made a poor decision they made a poor decision to uh and they hurt another person they hurt another person very very badly um and they probably have some sort of regrets and they and now they want to give back it's like now they want to give back but we have this person has a really big ego and perhaps you know it feels like something didn't grow with another person there was no growth there was there was maybe there was no attraction this person wasn't very attractive or they just weren't attracted to them you know they weren't attracted to them for some reason there was no growth there was no desire they've lost passion I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to um, and I feel like it is a sudden decision it is a sudden decision or maybe not maybe not um, because the ace of wands is reversed Somebody has made a poor decision and maybe they'd made it quickly in the past. They made their, they made a stupid decision to invest in something. And now, now it's, now they want to go back. That's what I feel like this is. It's like now they want to go back. They made a stupid decision to invest in something and now they want to go back and they're being guided. There's obvious, they're obviously being guided from somebody on the other side somebody on the other side and is, is telling them you know you gotta do this you gotta do this you gotta go this way you gotta do this you whatever that means this person could be a business owner okay but they may have made some poor decisions with their business I don't know it feels like they maybe they're experiencing some financial problems karma works in that way quite often I feel like with this five of swords reversed, there's, there's been some sort of, uh, you know, bloodshed or there's been a, it's been a volatile situation. It has been, it's been very volatile or it's going to be okay. Or, or something is happening. Something is happening that is causing somebody to walk away from something that isn't stable and something that they are not passionate about because they want to change or they want to give their energy to somebody else. I feel like we have somebody here that got involved with somebody um, superficially. You know, they got involved with them on a superficial basis. And it was just, I don't know, maybe it was to fulfill their, an ego or something like that. Um, it's like they got themselves into a false relationships sort of commitment thing, but now that's ending because of that 10 of swords. It's ending. There's, there's a, there is an ending here. And I feel like we have somebody here that is, is wants peace, wants to bring peace or wants to act, come in with an offer and they, they want, want a truce. Maybe they want to, they, maybe they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness. They, maybe they, they, um, have been pretending because all is not as it seems remember that shadow they've been pretending that they were happy they were pretending that everything was good but the truth is you know it wasn't it wasn't good okay and the party's over the honeymoon is over and now it's a reality check so it's like the reality has set in somebody is is feeling the reality i think of a loss and I think they're feeling that reality because whoever it is that they pushed away, because they did push somebody away, they pushed somebody away, whoever they pushed away is now giving to somebody else. And that's when they get a reality check. It's when you, you realize the person that you lost, that you didn't put in effort with, has chosen somebody else. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been living, you know, a lie in their shadow. They've been living a lie. And now they've got some sort of reality check and they, they may be stepping forward with some sort of apology or something. You know, there may be an apology coming. Um, I feel like they are being guided by somebody that has passed away. Um, 
Yeah, I do. It's somebody that has passed away. Um, the Ten of Swords reversed. That is something perhaps coming back from the dead. So somebody could be coming back from... And this, you know, it's crazy. So it's like somebody coming back from the, from the past with an apology. So somebody may be coming back from the past with an apology of some sort. Um, they got themselves in a situation that was unrealistic. Gotta go. So, good luck.